Hi, welcome to a chip off the old block toys. This is part three of building the haunted house. It's Lego set 10273. Uh, so far, there have been no modifications made to this and I don't think I will. I think I will leave this exactly the same. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. Um, we have built part of the second level, the whole entire first level. And all right, well, we are on bag number seven. So let's get started. And uh, hi, Nick. Thanks for joining. It's good to see you. And how are you doing today, Nick? Okay, hopefully that'll fix the problem. I switched over to a different Wi-Fi connection. Um, sorry about that. My Wi-Fi has been kind of funny lately. Okay, hopefully that works. I'm really, I apologize. My, uh, my Wi-Fi just doesn't want to cooperate tonight. Um, hopefully that'll clear up. I, I changed some settings just now. I'm hoping that'll do the trick. Uh, and hi, Jenny. Uh, thanks for joining. Um, I went to Target today and I picked up quite a few sets for future live streams. A lot of them are cars. Uh, the Harley motorcycle, the James Bond's car, uh, the um, the new Ferrari, the white Porsche, uh, quite a few, like I said. And I will be doing live streams, videos of these, but most of them I think will be live streams. I'm very excited about this, and the new R2-D2 is coming out on the 1st, which is Saturday. You bet your bottom dollar, I will be at the Lego store as they open, and I will be picking that up, and we'll be definitely doing a uh, live stream on those to get those uh, get that built. Okay, so it looks like, well, according to my uh, dashboard here, it doesn't look like there's any further problems with the Wi-Fi. If you're having trouble hearing me, if I'm breaking up, please let me know. Have any of you guys picked up any uh, Lego sets lately? And if you have, uh, would you mind sharing? I realize that just as I said that, I got a, a thing where it said no data. So if, if you heard this, I'm sorry, but if you didn't, i um, just wondering if anybody uh, has picked up any Lego sets lately or if you plan on picking up like the R2-D2 or participating in the May the 4th event running from the 1st through the 5th of May uh, at lego.com and its stores. If you are, I'd love to hear from you. Um, I'm kind of hoping to get the free... Uh, there's two free Star Wars gifts um, that come with purchases. I can't remember the amount. You have to spend so much to get it. Uh, I plan on getting them both. Uh, 
man, these instructions are not very clear. And I hope you all can forgive me, but uh, instead of buying my granddaughter Legos this time, I bought her a Barbie. See, now we got some windows to put in. Uh, yesterday, um, I started working on the Technic. Well, it's not Technic. It's it's the ATAT -AT Walker Star Wars, and it's the one that's mostly made out of Technic, but yet on the outside it doesn't look like it. And the reason it doesn't look like it is because they've got some good plates on it. Uh, however, it is a self-walking one and I started working on that because I do have the newer Star Wars at, -AT Walker it's I say newer because it's probably been out about a year or so but I bought it and I've got two other at, -AT Walkers to compare to it and so I started building one of those yesterday and um, I had to stop because uh, my granddaughter uh, was drinking chocolate milk next to me and spilled the chocolate milk all over the Legos. And so the Legos had to be hand washed and they're in a strainer drying right now. But I will resume work on that off camera so that I can have that comparison when I do that build. Alright, so we have these windows done here. Oh, let me try that. Hey John, thanks for joining. How are you doing tonight, John? Um, John, what'd you miss? Uh, well, I bought a ton of Legos today. I bought the James Bond's car, Bond car. I bought the Harley motorcycle, and I bought the new Ferrari, the Porsche, the Ford Mustang. Oh, uh, Statue of Liberty. Uh, bought quite a few sets today, and that's uh, for more live streams coming up. Uh, yes, the haunted house does have a spot on my city, John. Along with the older haunted house, which uh, after I'm done with this, I will do a video and compare them side by side. Looks like we're building some front doors or something here. Cool, John. So the inspections went well. I, I think you told me the house is only about five years old, so I'm, I'm glad there's no major problems. A lot of times you get by just fine with the house just a few years old, but there's no guarantees. So I'm glad it went well for you. Yeah, I could do the Lady, Liber Liber Lady Liberty as a live stream, sure. If I can just get my words out. Okay, so we have one front door here. Well, that's really neat, John, uh, because if he said suburb, superb, that means you'll most likely have relatively few problems out of the house for several years. 
I mean, I've only had my house for a year and bought it in February. So what is that? 14 months. And, uh, yeah, I've had some minor problems and I mean, very minor stuff that I could fix on my own. Oh, that's cool. You, uh, Greg Dillon, I built the Ashton Martin uh, DB5 yesterday. That's cool. That's one of the ones I bought today. Um, so I will be doing, uh, I'm not sure if it will be a live stream on that or a video, but I'll be doing one of the two on that. Oh, and uh, John, you asked what you missed. Um, I also put the question out there wondering if anybody else is planning on buying Lego sets over the May the 4th Be With You event coming up from May 1st to the 5th. Yeah, I John, I, I hear you. You're saying um, the association fees are about the same as what I was paying. I just hope they do something for you. Because I've lived in the neighborhood. The house that I owned before this had uh, an uh, HOA fee, um, well, two houses ago. And they didn't do anything for you ever. I mean, it was pretty sad. But... Um, This HOA here is different though. They they actually enforce the rules, which um, I know some people find that annoying, but I actually appreciate it because there are, were some things going on that just eh, wasn't kosher for me. And John says, um, when I was when I get my home, however NASA is my chosen one, yes, and uh, my friend is building the NASA shuttle now. Yeah, that's a good build. In fact, um, oh, the Moon Lander. That was the other one I bought. Um, and I'm grateful that I got the Moon Lander because I plan on doing another comparison like I did with the uh, Discovery Shuttle. And I actually left three other space sets out so I couldn't find them and kind of forgot about them. So I'm going to do a bigger comparison this time when I'm done with the Moon Lander. And uh, rumored to be retiring this year. Yeah, yeah. It's been out for a little bit, uh, Greg, and uh, that's kind of, I don't, I don't want to get too heavily into this, but one thing about Lego that does bother me is the kind of the artificial shortage that they create by only having a set out for two years, sometimes only one, sometimes three. I mean, I've seen it go as far as four, but um, they just have it for a short time, so it creates that shortage, and if you don't get it while it's going, while the going's hot, on a secondary market, these things are just expensive even more than they are in the store and I you know I can't keep up so I, I don't like that and John says this association is far better than the one in New Jersey yeah I, I hope so John uh, and uh, we got Greg I took the plunge and got it yeah that's a good set though I mean it's iconic you know um, and that's one of the reasons I got it too is that, I mean, almost everyone knows what that is. Please do the those in a live stream. Uh, okay, well, as many as I can, John. Uh, I actually plan on doing most of those in a live stream. But as you can tell, that's going to take a while to get through. Uh my daughter uh, is supposed to be moving back in with me um, here in about a month. And when she does that, I'll be able to do more live streams. I'm kind of limited on the live streams I can do right now because I'm uh, having my granddaughter over here for a very extended stay. Oh, that is so cool. If you guys can see that, 
you got a little chandelier in the window there. Yeah, the New Jersey Homeowner Association did crap. Yeah, unfortunately, some of those places just take your money and run. And they don't really don't provide much for you. And Greg Dillon says the only downside of it is a gray block. Yeah, um, but if you've seen my garage, you know I, I like gray Legos. Just kidding. I really, uh, that's the only color you really can do for cement. That and dark gray if you want to make it look kind of newer. I'm getting a little turned around here, so let me just get this done. Yeah, you know, John, um, what's really cool is my parents, where they live, they actually have an honest HOA. Um, their HOA fees were cut in half about two years ago because the HOA said, you know what? We actually have a little bit too much money. We have more than, I think it was five years worth of maintenance fees because they, they have a pool and everything maintained by the HOA. But they had more than enough five, feet, five years worth of uh, fees for that. Um, and so uh, they, they actually have their uh, fees in half so that um, they were giving some money back, which I thought was pretty cool. How about red brick or another color? Um, well, there is dark red, but part of the problem with that is the expense. Um, dark red is one of those colors that's not that readily available, and so it is uh, even more costly than what I'm currently doing. But uh, I do have some dark red already, especially those masonry bricks, the ones with the, that look like they're, uh, they're the bricks that look like little, actually masonry bricks on the side, you know, built into the side of them. I could throw some of those in there, a little, uh, you know, have a little patchwork of that going. Okay, let's do this. And also, I do use dark gray as well. Okay, that's bag number seven in the bag. Let's start uh, bag number eight, which is going to be right here. Watched Mortal Kombat this week. Yeah, you know what? Um, I actually didn't have time to watch that, Greg, but my wife did. And she doesn't tend to be in those kind of, into those kind of movies, but she said she really liked it. So um, if she said that, it must be really good. What'd you think of it, Greg? Why would they change more, charge more? Oh, uh, it's that artificial shortage I was talking about, John. Um, Lego only tends to have uh, like very few of certain types of pieces in certain colors, and because of that, they're more rare. And I know it sounds crazy, but um, in a way, I'm kind of grateful for that because running a BrickLink store, I that's where I make my money is the rarer pieces and being able to charge more. Um, but when you know when you're the collector on the other side of it, <laughs> it's not too cool. Oh, and I picked up, uh, I picked up a few blue um, base plates because I heard that Lego base plates are being done away with. It's just a rumor at this point. They did away with the road plate this year and came out with a new road plate system, but the rumor is that base plates are going away too. So I picked up a few of those at Target, eight of them, and that's for the river uh, on my city. I need a lot more than that, but uh, I bought Target out of all of them they had, so 
Uh, I will get them as they come back in, hopefully. And Greg Dillon says uh, it sets up the tournament in the second and third. Okay. So it's setting up the uh, sequels. Yeah, John, it's, it's really funny with LEGO is that some of the more common colors or, or bricks are actually not available in some of the common colors. It's really hit or miss with LEGO whether you're going to get a certain type of piece in a certain color. And I know, and I don't do this, but I've actually seen people who will hand paint certain LEGO pieces because they, they just don't want to pay the fee or they're just not available in the color they actually want. I've seen a couple of people, especially when they're uh, replicating buildings from real life. I've seen that a few times. And then Greg says, much better annihilation. Annihilation, sorry. Oh, I, I got a BrickLink order in today, um, and I, I almost feel sad I have to say this, but I was pleasantly surprised because it was it was actually correct. Uh, and if, if you know, um, if you've ordered off BrickLink a few times, you probably run into this before, but a lot of sellers, and I really mean a lot, don't give you the right colors, they don't give you the right quantity, or they miss things out completely. Um, and I just kind of had enough um, with that. And I've gotten to the point where I started calling out some of these sellers because I'm sorry, but you know, this is an expensive hobby. And I know you can make mistakes, but make good on it. You know, if I let you know, hey, you forgot a couple pieces, either send it to me or send me the refund um, and I had one over the weekend where well it was actually over the last couple weeks where they they sent me the order it was missing one type of piece completely and uh, I, I let them know and I was polite about it and they got back to me and said oh yeah yeah I'll send you a refund no problem nope they didn't and so I really hate to do this but I filed a PayPal claim and I also uh, gave them a negative on BrickLink, and uh, two days after the negative, they, they got a hold of me and said, oh, I just forgot. Okay, well, you also forgot just to send me the pieces, too, as well as the refund. Um, they did send me the refund, though. And uh, Greg made a correction. He says, much better than Annihilation. Yeah, it, it, it is. Um, or I, I should say I imagine it, because I didn't see... Mortal Kombat. I shouldn't be speaking out of my, you know what. Um, so I apologize for that. But uh, Mortal Kombat, yep. I'll see if I can download it or watch it. So uh, I probably will not do a live stream tomorrow, uh, but I will probably do it Thursday instead. Um, I'm relying on my son, who's 17, to watch a two year old, which could get dicey. <laughs> Um, no, he's good to her. Um, but yeah, I, I am relying upon him to, to help me out so I can do these live streams. So, um, I think he wants to go out tomorrow night, so it'll probably be Thursday. And you know, I know I've said this before, but I'm really digging this thing. It, this is really, really cool. This haunted house. It's got so many details to it. I'm, I'm kind of blown away. I mean, I'll turn this around, but... I really love this pipe organ. That is just awesome. I think I might have made a mistake on that. I better fix that. Yeah, I think I made a mistake on this. Uh, yeah, I did. Okay. Well, let me 
let me fix this before I go too fur much further. I noticed it because with it sticking out, it won't um, it won't open fully. So I have to turn these arches here. I'm gonna put the the John. I'm sorry, John says I'm gonna put the deposit down for the puppy. Yeah, I love the details. Yeah, I I do too. It's it's sweet. And um, yeah, John, I hope you get a I hope you get a good uh, puppy there. I'm definitely a, a animal lover myself. I've owned a few dogs in my day. My most favorite dog I've ever owned was an Alaskan Malamute. And he was appropriately, appropriately named Blizzard. Oh, what is my set of the year? Well, I answered this. I answered the question about a month ago, and I I had it down to two sets, but I can narrow it down. My favorite is uh, uh, the new police station modular. Uh, I'm very much in love with those modulars. I've been fortunate enough to be able to get every single one of them, so. Um, I have the full collection. I think there's 16 of them. I'm partially toying with the idea of buying a second modular, uh, the, the, the um, police station one, and expanding it because I've seen a few other people do it. I had the idea when I first got it um, of expanding it, but uh, I've honestly got too many irons in the fire right now to, to get to it. But um, now that I've seen some other ideas, it's inspired me, and it's rekindled that, and I do want to get a second uh, police station. Here, let me adjust the camera here so you guys can see us a little bit better. Because you guys don't need to see me. I'm sure you want to see the Legos anyway. A beagle first time I had to drive four hours for it well you know if it's the right dog John it, it's well worth it man um, and I made a mistake here let me fix that I am definitely a fan of the dark brown color as long as, as well as this uh, olive green and yeah, John, Alaskan Malamutes are the most, well, I think they're a very beautiful dog. They have a very good temperament, usually. Uh, they don't bark much, but they're big, and so people are scared of them, usually. And they're, uh, well, the one I had was 102 pounds, so he was a big dog. And they look like wolves, too, by the way, the markings. So... People tend, no, they tend to be afraid of them, which is good. Uh, you know, uh, if you're looking for a guard dog, which I was. And actually, truth be told, I wasn't even looking for a dog. Have I stepped on a Lego? I sure have. <laughs> Boy, have I ever. Um, and uh, actually, I, uh, I, I know some people don't like the Babylon Bee, but... I like their satire sometimes, not always. And they had one, a recent article, fake article, that said uh, uh, Lego invents new sharper Lego that kills you as soon as you step on it. And I thought that was pretty funny. And it had a fake, uh, it had a fake thing about you know, because they always do. It, it's a, it's a totally satire, but they always have fake people to interview to get quotes and. One of the quotes was the parent saying they were afraid their kid was going to sabotage them on purpose with these new Legos to get back at them. And I just thought it was hilarious. Even though it's really stupid, it's funny. And uh, if you guys don't mind, I, I'll tell you the story uh, about how I got my dog, Blizzard. 
Um, I got my dog Blizzard from another family um, who was living in Germany. And long story short, um, they went uh, to the States for a few weeks on vacation. They asked me to watch him. And when I watched him, he was two years old at the time, and he, which means he should have been full grown. And he was only 65 pounds. He was skin and bone. And the people that owned him instructed me that he was only to have one measuring cup of food a day. That's all they were giving him. Well, as soon as they left and then left me the dog, I um, I fed him. I didn't care. I didn't care what he ate. I fed him. And they were gone for three weeks. When they came back, that dog had went from 65 pounds to 82 pounds in three weeks. And when they came back, uh, the owners were so excited. Oh, yeah, he looks so good. What'd you do to him? And I, I, I admit, I was, I, I was totally smart with them. And I was like, you know, I just fed them. And uh, I offered to buy the dog. And I was willing to pay for him. And they said no. And I can't do anything about it. So I t they took the dog home. And uh, less than a week later, when uh, my wife uh, was out in the parking lot, um, and we lived in the same apartment building in Germany, uh, when my wife was out in the parking lot, she saw the, the other wife out there with the dog, and she was crying. And my wife went up to her and said, what's wrong? And uh, she says, I hate this dog. I don't want this dog. And my wife said, you know what? Just give me the leash, and I'll take him. And uh, my wife did. They, they, the lady handed over the leash, and uh, we took the dog. And I have never regretted that decision. He was the greatest dog I had, and uh, just, just a beautiful thing. And and took him another six months, but he got up to uh, 102 pounds. Which, if you look on the internet, an Alaskan Malamute that's uh, a, a male should weigh roughly about 100 to 105 pounds. So he was right at the target weight. Are they like shepherds? Um, no, not not really. They're they're more. Uh, a lot of people mistake them for huskies, but huskies top out at about 50 pounds. Um, Malamutes can get up to. I, I mean, I've seen a Malamute that was 120 pounds. So uh, they get a lot bigger, and uh, huskies a lot of times tend to have the blue eyes. And, and not, not in all cases, this is a generalization. Um, and the Malamute tend to, tends to have brown, and Huskies tend to bark more, and Malamutes do not. Now there's a lot of differences, but they are similar looking. But like I said, one breed gets bigger than the other. Eagles are hunter. They hunt rabbits. Think of Elmer Fudd. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, when I lived in Germany, um, my dog Blizzard I was telling you about, he, um, they have hedgehogs out there that are, that are in the wild. And, uh, oh, Blizzard used to love getting his teeth on those. And uh, if you weren't paying attention... Uh, he would have them, and uh, you know he was strong enough, so you really had to have a grip on that leash. And I've owned a husky before too. That was a few years after Blizzard. I want a wolf dog, Greg says. Yeah, they're awesome, man. 
and they are very, very powerful. Alright, so this inside of that. And I hope you get one, Greg. I know the joke is they're man's best friend, but they really are. They're, they're very loyal. And in fact, uh, Blizzard um, was a very gentle dog, but a dog attacked me once. And uh, if you ever looked at my finger here closely, you'd see that I've got a big scar on it because a dog bit me. And uh, that happened in Blizzard's presence. And after that, Blizzard would not let another dog get anywhere close to me. And um, he was not an aggressive dog prior to that, but me getting attacked once was all it took for him, and he had enough. So I was very grateful for him because he was a great protector. And like I said, just because of his sheer size, people didn't want to mess with him. Oh, my dog Blizzard? Oh, no. I did not put him to sleep. In fact, uh, it really hurt me to get rid of him. But I could not afford it at the time because I was still in school. Um, when we left Germany, uh, in order to ship a dog that big and the quarantine and everything that went on with it, it was like $2,000 to have him shipped to the States. And I simply couldn't afford it. So I uh, gave him to another uh, military family there in Germany and they were more established than I was at the time and when they came back to the States they brought him and he has since retired out of the military because I kept in touch with them and uh, they live in North Carolina and last I knew he's still alive my daughter has gone to visit him because she also lives in North Carolina um, well one of my daughters I have three so no I did not put him down John uh, would not do that to him. He was only protecting me, which, hey, how can I not like that? And uh, Greg says, I also want to learn falconry. That would be interesting. That, that would be. And if you ever get around to that, please let me know. Let me see a video or two. Those birds are very majestic. Okay, so we got three bags in the bag tonight. And this is definitely grown. We were cut off right here on both sides. We got them both built up. We got this built up because of the cut, on, cut down. It was only right here. And then we've got this weird looking skeleton dude. Looks like he's supposed to be Egyptian, like King Tut a little bit, except this is not golden or striped. That would be kind of cool if they put a sticker there to make it like King Tut's uh, actual beard. But they didn't. Um, so that's going to wrap it up for tonight. Uh, we've got bags 7, 8, and 9 done. And we've got up to 18 bags. And so, uh, like I said, no live stream tomorrow. But we will do Thursday. And uh, if my son changes his mind, it's tomorrow night. I'll definitely put a notice out there as soon as I know. But I'm planning on Thursday. And also, I've got a couple cool videos coming up. Including my one-year anniversary of being on uh, YouTube. That's coming up by the end of the week. So thanks for joining, and I uh, certainly appreciate the comments and the back and forth. I really do like the dialogue, and thanks for joining. Be safe, be safe, be good to each other, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Have a good night.